Tekutia, mimi ni msimamizi mkuu wa tengo cha wanyamapori hapa taita Taveta. Ningependa kuwashukuru sana bwana chairman kupitia kwa bunge wangu bwana Chome kuchukua hii nafasi kukuja tukutane na wananchi hapa tuweze kujadiliana kwa ana kwa ana kwa hii maneno ama masuala ambayo inahusisha wanyamapori na binadamu mimi ningependa kusema ya kwamba kweli kama taita taveta county tumepata changamoto kwa muda na hayo changamoto sisi kwetu tunasema ni opportunities kwetu kama serikali tunaweza kaa namna gani na wananchi na tuweze kuboresha maisha yao na tuishi kwa amani kwa sababu kwa hiyo karne yote tangu national park imekuwa created watu wa upande huu hiyo muda yote wameishi na wanyama hakuja kuwa na matatizo mengi lakini kwa muda ambapo sasa tuko changamoto imekuwa mingi na vile madam uh, uh, deputy governor amesema a lot of issues have cropped up some of them are related to climate change but some of them pia imekuwa kwa ile harakati ya maisha yetu ya binadamu zamani population yetu ilikuwa chache saa hii population imeongezeka kumekuwa na demand for space na vile tunaongezeka binadamu wanyama pia wameongezeka so lazima kuwe na hiyo kukwaru sana lakini mimi napenda kusema ya kwamba kwa viongozi ya eneo hii nafikiri tumekuwa kwa amani tukishirikiana kujaribu kutafuta suluhisho cha muhimu ni kukuja kwa meza na kukaa chini na kutafuta suluhisho ya kudumu na ni kweli hayo tumewahi kufanya tunakuwa na kikao kwa aina tofauti lengo tofauti ya uongozi na ndiyo nasema kwamba hata siku ya leo kama sio uongozi imehakikisha kwamba tukutane sehemu zingine inakuwa ngumu lakini nataka kupongeza viongozi ya upande hii ukiongozwa na engineer Chome na bwana Shake hapa na hata ma MCA nafikiri kuliwa na yule MCA wa Chabia Ward mimi kwa ile wakati yangu kwa uongozi hapa nimetilia manane maneno ya uongozi kwa kukaa kwa meza kuongea na kutafuta suluhisho na ndiyo sababu bwana chama nataka kutangulia kusema ya kwamba ili jambo la conflict upande ya fence fence ya alia kamutonga ni jambo ambayo mimi nimelikuta nikikuja hapa ilikuwa moto mpaka imeenda kutini koti karul in favor of kws because kws did not have any interest kwa maneno ya shamba atakuwa na interest yote kwa sababu sheria inasema when you are doing any development any infrastructural development there must be public participation kws ilihusisha watu wote na tukaelewana hapa ndio fence itapita kama kulikuwa na disputes ambayo imekuwa raised hapa ya boundary ndio sababu wananchi walitupeleka kutini na court ili rule in our favor kabla tujaanzisha tena kuendelea na hiyo fence i want to say ya kwamba kulikuwa tena na dispute ya hiyo land ownership ambayo bwana Gamanel Mwangi ameiongelelea vilivyo na hata mheshimiwa MCA akaongezea that is a dispute that is still pending na bado yuko kutini sisi kama idara we are very much ready because kwangu mwenyewe nilichukulia kama kitu muhimu sana hiyo sehemu ya fence ambao wananchi walisema kweli wanyama wote wanatoka Savo West kupitia Lualeni inaingia Salt Lake na ikisha ingia Salt Lake obviously itakuja sehemu za Alia Kamutonga wenda mpaka chini if we address that issue of land ownership ambayo umepeana uongozi mema pamoja na deputy governor that we need the land commission on the ground to idea to resolve hiyo issue ya ownership because that's now the disputed part of it kama sarova can address the concern na watu ya chabia obviously sisi we are ready like yesterday mimi niko na equipments our personnel will revive that stretch of land ambayo inakata alia kamotonga fence hiyo ni jambo ya kwanza ya pili mheshimiwa pia mheshimiwa chairman 
fence has been the best solution to address human wildlife conflict. And this has successfully been done area Mount Kenya, like Kipia, and even part of Meru. Hapa, that was just a phase one of the big fence that we were to do within Muatate, Mpaka Kasigao. Iyo tulikamilisha. Isipokuwa yosemu. The second phase of the fence was to run from Mugeno, iende chini wa Shumbu, iende Mpaka Kasigao, tuyunganishe na sehemu ya upande ya Rukinga Mpaka Bachuma. That was the long lasting solution to this perennial problem here, human wildlife conflict. We did a feasibility study, we did public participation, and we agreed. Everybody accepted the fact that we needed to run that process. Unfortunately, the funding has been the major problem. It is a fence that runs for almost 120 kilometers, and our budget was to the tune of 350 million. We presented that to the senior management at the headquarters. I am sure it must have been escalated to the ministry. But as you know, Banachea, Shida, Imekwani, Upungufu, Wahela. We are still waiting for that, and it is our hope. If it is addressed, ile Shida ya human wildlife conflict, kwa yosemu, itakuwa imesaulika. There are other fences, ambayo have been running for quite some time, but as uh, Madam DG had put it, maintenance because of inadequate equipment, some of them are not up to standard. This is all about issues of finance. Funding so that you can be able to buy regular equipment, be able to regular maintain events so that it meets the required standard. Hiyondo changamoto. Na I'm sure bwana chair, hii ni maneno imefikia kwa kamiti yako from our leadership. I am sure wamekuja huko kujitetea maneno ya resources. It is my hope that the committee will relook at that aspect of resources because after the issue of employment ambayo imeongelelewa hapa, KWS will recruit rangers in 2025. That was the last time we recruited rangers. 2015, I mean. It's quite some time. Watu wana retire, watu wana potea kimaisha, watu wanaenda for greener pasture. We've not been able to replace this workforce. A place ambayo unatakana uwe na a fighting force of about 8 or 12 of rangers. At the moment, we are compelled to even just put 3 or 5 because we have no enough strength. We've lost people through natural attrition. People have retired. People have gone out to other better jobs. But replacement has been a challenge. Not only on the ranger line, but even other units. These are very serious matter. And for sure, there is a need for the government through your committee to look into this aspect of recruiting more staff. And on the same line, I think um, uh, I'm happy to report to you that these two officers, Wako Hapa Mbele Yangu, are from Taita Taveta County. This is a senior officer in my office. She's called Madam Rachel. She was transferred from Makweni County, Akakuja Taita Taveta County, and his idea na maneno ya human wildlife conflict. She's an expert in that field. This one, Anaito Ndorosi, is also an officer in charge of human wildlife conflict issues within the Taita Taveta County. He's also in my office. Nilisema ni kuja nao because sazingine ni muhimu. Sio mimi peke yangu nimetoka kisumu as my good friend was saying it. <laughs> and constitutionally every Kenyan has a right to be employed or to work anywhere in the republic. But I hear you very well. There is a need to give consideration when we are doing recruitment, especially to areas that seriously are affected by matters human and conflict. Opatiwe priority. And I think that can work very well through your committee. If it is well presented, consideration can be given. And Mwishimiwa kuna jambo pia imeongewa hapo pia ningependa kuchangia. Issue ya compensation. It is a very, very motive issue. And I think through your committee, the other day I was talking to my MP here. Akaniambie you guys are addressing it. Because when we presented the budget, there was an aspect of administrative cost that was lacking. Ngependa kusema tutafadhali. Hii ni jambo ambayo kila siku hata nikienda kwa baraza ama kuongea na wanaicho na uliza. Sasa utatueleza nini na jana ndovu imevunja tangi hapa kwa shule. Unaniambia nini na jana 
mtu ameumizwa hapa ama tumepoteza mtu mimi naomba hiyo na kuachia komiti yako tafadhali let's hasten the process and through the national treasury money be sent down so that we can compensate the affected imekuwa kero kubwa sana but as an organization one thing that probably yawako anaelewa tunapeana consolation money when there is an incident of death we usually give 30000 shillings ile kupanguza nayo hiyo shida imetokea every family and i'm sure madam masho here will bear me witness there is no incident ya death imewahi kufanyika bila mtu kupatiwa the consolation money that is the practice we give out 30000 or process na hizo vitu zingine na nashukuru waheshimiwa hapa kwa sababu that is never enough wanachangia wananchi wanaelekeza wanasema maneno ya mazishi sio rahisi ukipoteza mtu mimi i lost my mother uh, last month and i can assure you what i went through as the first born son of that family you will not imagine if it was not the well wishers walenisaidia kuchangia na kuhakikisha tumemzika mema it is a costly thing and nobody would want kuona mwenzake amepoteza maisha yake kwa sababu ya wanyama tunajaribu kama idara na tunahakikisha hata kama saa zingine wameshindwa na kusafirisha tunasaidia hata transport madam dg has just said we lost somebody in kasigao this officer gari yake ndiye ilimsaidia kumleta hapa gari yake ndiye imehusika hata kupeleka yeye siku ile anazikwa na hata hiyo consolation money tukapeana so that has been the common practice but that is not enough it is never enough na mimi naomba tu through your committee because your committee has been empowered to look into matters supporting or facilitating the government uh, state department to be able to achieve some of those objectives mheshimiwa anapenda kusema pia maneno ya uh, nduvuni it was a court case issue and maneno ya koti unalazimika kuheshimu maneno ya koti so sisi tuliheshimu maneno ya koti but as uh, mheshimiwa Idris has said it is important that when we have a session with the land commission some of these contentious boundary issues can be addressed people can sit down relook at the boundaries and if it is possible to review they can be reviewed the ones that cannot be reviewed we leave it to the law because some of these boundaries were created by the parliament we have no powers whatsoever to challenge or rather to revisit issues of boundaries but if it is presented as he has requested i have no problem because these are gazetted boundaries if there are issues let be let them be channel or be presented through the right channel and uh, uh, lastly uh, when a chair would say yes there are cases that were put forward like matters of snake bite they were removed from a wildlife act it is a very emotive issue i know there are areas that are heavily affected by this issue of snake bite kama uko kwako nyumbani i was once in meru na hiyo ilikuwa shida sana area darakanidhi na mwingi lakini sisi pia ni binadamu tunapatwanga opportunity then tuna abuse because of those abuses i think that's the reason why iliondolewa all is not lost because we have the committee here the presentation can be done to them they can relook at it and then come up with a better way on how that compensation ya yeah, snake bite can be executed before then it was heavily abused and that's the reason why ilitolewa kwa sheria mimi ningependa kusema ya kwamba ni muhimu because most of the areas that neighbors the protected areas iko na hiyo changamoto tuko na aina tofauti ya manyoka zingine sumu uwezi hata ku last for even a minute kama uja shugulikiwa but i'm happy to report that kenya wildlife service law enforcement academy tuko na facility hapa ambayo anytime there is anybody affected na snake bite tunasaidia tuko nayo hapa manyani na mara mingi wale ambayo wana habari wametufikishia huwa tunakimbiza because they have the anti venom huwa inasaidia what i will request going forward through madam dg how we can engage so that this information can spread na watu wajue tukipatwa na shida how we quickly we can rush such a uh, victim to shule ndio apate matibabu ya haraka um, uh, 
Chair, I think those are the few things that I picked. The lastly, there is the issue of carbon credit. Savo, we are, uh, it's unfortunate that Savo West and Savo East, we are not beneficiary of the carbon credit uh, process. But Chulu National Park is a beneficiary, which is part of this conservation area. Parts of this conservation area, like the ranches, the Kasigao, were the first team to initiate that process. I think there's still room for us to engage. We have started the process together with the Taita Taveta Wildlife Conservancy Association so that we can also drive this process of grassland carbon credit. Currently, we are benefiting as KWS through Chulu of a forest carbon credit. It started way back, I think, 2002. We are still in the process, but uh, there is room. This is a new phenomenon. We have room to renegotiate and to be included in that process. We are working with other partners who are already in the process. Going forward, probably we'll be able to be part of that process. And once we achieve our target and we have money out of the grassland uh, carbon credit sales, obviously we'll sit on the table with our partners and agree this is something worth sharing. Because it's actually beneficial, especially the areas that I've served in, like that of Chulu, there's a significant benefit that comes with it. So, Madam DG, in a nafasi yetu, tukai kwa meza na wale wanausika, tujadliane, tuone na mnagani, how we can incorporate our two protected areas, Savo East and Savo West, in that discussion. And obviously, tutapata mwelekeo, because I am here with me, uh, my principal research scientist from WRTI. He's also an expert in that field. And he's the one we've been working along with in those discussions. So I hope going forward, we can also be part of that process. Bwana uh, Chair, because of time, nataka kuwachia hapo. Na kukushukuru tena. We are going to do a small brief and share some of the issues we have captured that I might have not uh, spoken about so that you can have time to probably interrogate it at your own time. Asante sana. Asante sana to our